Belltown is in the north end of Seattle. It's essentially between the Space Needle to the north and Pikes Place Market to the south. One of the great things about living in Belltown is uh, not only the diversity in the people and the culture and the things that you can do, but uh, the diversity in the architecture as well. We've got buildings that were built in the 30s and 40s that are side by side with buildings that were built in the 90s. It's sort of like a really small section of people that don't want to be like punk rock ass, you know, punk rock dorks or losers or whatever, and tattoos and drugs, and, but they don't want to live outside of downtown. Independent music is mostly what we carry here. Lots of vinyl. Still believe in the vinyl. It's the superior format. I like looking at the big pictures and pulling out the lyric sleeves. Belltown's really changed in the 10 years that I've been here. Right when I moved up here, I guess they kind of started to clean it up. We still had uh, we still had some dive bars, which were awesome, which are long gone. There was lots of uh, lots of drug dealing. Uh, great crack whores walking the streets, which you still see a little bit of that stuff. It's definitely cleaned up quite a bit. It's got to be safe for the people to uh, live in the condos. The Crocodile Cafe is right on the corner. Lots of uh, bands playing there like pretty much every night of the week. One of the things I think that's really important about the Crocodile is that it's an institution and Seattle doesn't have enough institutions. I think Belltown's a unique neighborhood in that it is right adjacent to downtown and to the water, and so it's one of the easiest places to live and not have a car and still go out and do interesting things. When I first opened, it was really abandoned and sort of forgotten, a sort of gem of an area adjacent to downtown but with a different character. Now it's pretty vibrant. We had the whole you know, grunge thing we got everybody, and then the genesis of the music scene was Seattle, so we were packed all the time with Seattle bands. Nirvana, even after they were really famous, did a secret show here. The Strokes on their way up more recently. Dave Matthews has done a secret show. Franz Ferdinand, Yoko Ono. Cheap Trick played three nights. They played a different album each night. I like working at Rudy's because there's no formality. You don't feel as though you have to have your hair done before you come in to get your hair did. We don't really have as many like punkers or you know people with wanting mohawks although we do get a little bit of that too but we get pretty much all kinds of people uh, people aren't afraid to come to Belltown anymore like yeah. they maybe were 10 years ago sometimes people have to wait for a while and then they get to hang out but other times they come in and we're like oh we can cut your hair right now and they're like darn it I wanted to hang out upstairs for a while kind of my center of Belltown. This building actually has a hotel, a clothing shop, a restaurant, and a barber shop in it, and they're all very cool and modern. And The Ace Hotel is a lot different from most of the major uh, corporate kind of hotels. Um, it's kind of like a family environment, you know, you get people that um, recognize you and you recognize them. Two rooms have these, all the rooms are different layouts. Belltown is kind of um, off the beaten path a little bit. It's starting to get a little bit more popular. Um, it's kind of a neighborhood community feel, but there's still a lot of really hip things going on. There's a little place that opened up called The Apartment. The sea sound is great. Viceroy is definitely really fun. The wasabi has a great happy hour from 11 to 1, so if you get kind of late night sushi fix, you can do that. The neighborhood was uh, quite different when I opened up. We had uh, uh, a lot of uh, drinking on the street and uh, people sleeping in doorways. So over the past 11 years, the neighborhood is, has changed quite drastically. The Belltown area is a, a young, vibrant scene. It's uh, really urban professionals. People have moved from the outer areas back into the city and it's really kind of revived city life. First and Blanchard is really the heart of Belltown. All the clubs have grown from this area. There's always something to do, whether it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon or it's 12 o'clock at night. You can always find something open. Most of the people that come to Belltown Brothers don't know how to play pool. Uh, they're here just to have fun, rent a pool table. Most people kind of grasp the game, but they're not going to know the real rules. I personally don't know how to play pool.